Hello, it's Bonnie Southgate from the Core in Ferndown. Uh, we are going to be looking at palpation points today of the foot. And what we're looking for when we're palpating is tenderness in any of those points. So, um, assessment of somebody who maybe has come in with foot pain. So, on we go, looking at the foot. So, on my list, we're starting with the medial and the lateral malleolus. So, You've got two bones coming down from the top. The first one is your tibia. And when you come down the tibia, you've got a big bony prominence there, and that is called your medial malleolus. And then on the other side, you've got your fibula, which comes down. And again, you've got a prominence, not as big as the uh, medial side, but the lateral side, and that is your lateral malleolus. So the lateral malleolus and the medial malleolus are just both sides of your tibia and fibula. And now we're gonna look next on our list, we've got the calcaneus, which is also known as the heel bone. Quite easy to palpate. So you've got that big calcaneus heel bone that comes all the way underneath. And we've got next on our list, we're just gonna go around with the list, the cuboid bone. So when you go lateral to the calcaneus and you come forward, then you end up on a bone called the cuboid bone. And the cuboid bone, is kind of the second in line. So if you think that you've got bones coming across uh, that form arches, it both uh, forms a joint with the what we call the navicular and then the cuneiforms. So the cuboid is there. And the other thing that's important about the cuboid is that it has connections to the fourth and the fifth metatarsals. So uh, if you think that the foot, all the bones in the, the feet influence one another. The fourth and the fifth bone, fifth metatarsals will be influenced by the cuboid bone. So they work almost in opposition to the other three bones to help form the arch of the foot. So the next landmark we've got on the list is the fifth metatarsal head. So if you look here, we've got the fifth metatarsal and we've got this big prominence coming out there. And that is the head of the fifth metatarsal, which is an attachment point. And we are going to come down, and from your metatarsals, we've got your phalanges. So we've got all the phalanges from the second to the fifth toe, and we have got a proximal, and we've got a medial and a distal. Uh, and then when you come to the first or the big toe, your hallexis, we've just got the proximal and the distal phalanges. So it doesn't have that little bone in the middle. So no medial on that, that toe. And then we're gonna follow that toe up. So we come all the way up and we've got these three bones, as I said before, which are called your cuneiforms. So each of these, the third, the second, and the first metatarsal come and they match or they meet one of the cuneiforms. Uh, and then those cuneiforms, if you come around, are connecting or working with something we call your navicular. And your navicular, has a, a prominence on it on this side. So you often see that on the medial part of the foot sticking out. And that's the bone that when you see people in pronation, you can see has dropped down or it moves that way in pronation. So it becomes more obvious. Now we come up from your navicular to a bone that sits on top of your calcaneus and below your tibia and fibula and that is your talus. And your talus is a floating bone. It doesn't have any muscular attachments. Uh, it's, got, it's got ligamentous attachments, but not muscular attachments. And it forms two key joints in the foot. So you have uh, the joint with the, the tibia and the fibula, and that is your talocrural joint. And then you have got your um, subtalar joint, which is your talus forms a joint with your uh, calcaneus below. So these are all the bones in the foot that we're going to talk about. Um, most of those have prominences and we look at the palpation points because they are used as screens to see what the state of the foot's in or they have important uh, muscular attachments too. So now we're going to have a, a real foot next and we're going to look at how you find them on a real foot. It's a little bit harder when you can't see the bones. 
Right, here we are with a real foot now. Um, happens to be my foot, <laughs> so um, I should be able to control it quite easily. So we're going through the same points that we looked at before. We'll look at it from this view first. So I've got quite a bony foot, it's quite easy to see. So we had palpated the medial and the lateral malleolus, which if you come down my shin and my fibula, you can see right there. So we've got those big prominent bones there, which is the medial and the lateral malleolus, right? So I'm gonna jump around a little bit um, on this one because there is easy ways to actually find your way around a real foot. So we talked about the lateral and the medialis, uh, malleolus bones forming the talocrural joint. So the next thing that we're gonna look for is going to be the talus, which sits underneath it. So I'm gonna lift my toes up. And when I lift my toes up, you can see that I've got some um, tenderness protrusions here. If I take my fingers on either side there, below my medial and my lateral malleolus, and I bring my um, foot down, I will be on the heads of what we call the talus. So it's quite a nice, easy way to find and palpate. And then if I move my foot into inversion and eversion, I can feel either side of the talus between my two fingers. So that would be a nice, easy way to find your talus, lifting the toes up, finding those tendons, just on, you can see where it gets narrow and where I'm just below lateral and medial, medial malleolus, and there I am on my talus. So from there, I'm gonna come to the lateral side of my foot, and we palpated or we looked at the, the fifth metatarsal head. So if I come down from my fifth metatarsal and I, I can feel here, you can sort of see that I've got a prominent bone there and that bone is the head of my fifth metatarsal. So if I've got my fifth metatarsal there then I know when I come in I fall into there. I'm going to now be on my cuboid. So my cuboid will come around there and you can actually wiggle the cuboid a little bit. And when I go into inversion, my cuboid will be dropping, I'll get this bone here, will be dropping down that way. And you can feel that. So I'm fifth metatarsal cuboid, and I can roll it and I can feel that's dropping down there. And that's my cuboid bone. And I know that that cuboid's gonna come across because we said that the fourth and the fifth metatarsal link into that cuboid bone. So it's gonna come all the way over here. So from there, we're gonna take you down the fifth metatarsal um, into the phalanges like we did with um, our skeleton. And you can even see I've got little creases on my skin. So I've got my proximal bit of my phalange joints. And then on these toes, you've got the medial. And at the end, the distal, the furthest away from the center is your distal. So from there, if we see the metatarsals, and if I lift my toes again, you can see all the pulleys for my toes or my tendons. I can follow that up because those are gonna follow in the same line as my metatarsals. So if I follow that line up for my tendon, I'm gonna end up on one of my cuneiforms. So if I uh, come with my, my big toe, I'm gonna come up into my first cuneiform and I bring the second toe up into my second cuneiform and the third one into the third cuneiform. And then as we said before, these two are coming up into the cuboid, All right? So once I found my, my cuneiforms, I know that my three cuneiforms are gonna feed into what we call the navicular. So if I follow the medial portion of my foot up, I'm coming to a bony prominence. If I allow my foot to drop down, you will see that bone dropping down there, and then I lift up and it comes up, and I drop it down, and I lift it up. So that's your navicular bone there, and that will connect into the three cuneiforms. And on the other side of my navicular bone, if I lift my toes up again, you can see it sinks in there, and that we look here again, that navicular is then gonna be butting up to my talus. So we've got, we've gone through and we had, so I think we haven't done the calcaneus, that might be something we missed, so that's gonna be your heel bone. So my big heel bone, which is very easy to palpate. 
the heel bone into the talus is going to form your um, your joint between the talus and the heel and then you've got the talus and the tibia and the fibula so those are all the palpation points that we're going to look at on the foot today uh, and if you are interested we will have some other videos on screens looking directly at some of those palpation points and how we're using the screens to look at the state of the foot so thank you it was bonnie southgate from pilates therapy if you found that interesting we have got a weekend coming up on the foot and the knee it's two days and you can find us on www.pilatestherapy.co.uk